Hello gorgeous people, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here then welcome, I hope you're all good. How good does it feel to just be back with normal weekly vlogs? I, this vlog that's incoming is so funny because it's one of those weeks where you don't have a lot actually in your calendar, like a lot of stuff to do, I didn't really feel like I was doing much, but then when I look back on the stuff that I've done in a week when I'm editing, I'm like, what? Like, is that even happened in the last week? So it's been a bit of a random weekly vlog that we've got incoming, but I'm just jumping in at the start of this video because I've got a brand new HelloFresh code and I've worked with HelloFresh now for so long, as you all know, and I know so many of you use my code. So I just wanted to quickly put it in at the beginning before we actually get into the vlog, just so you don't have to traipse halfway through to find it. So my new HelloFresh code is Asha2024. I'll put it on screen here, but I'll also put a QR code on screen. You'll be familiar with that if you've used it before, but basically you can just use your phone to scan it and it'll take you straight to my offer. This code will give you 60% off your first box with the code and 25% off for two months, which is insane. I had the nicest HelloFresh dinner last night. I'm gonna put it in here. So it was one of the, I've got it here actually. It was one of the Stacey Solomon. Whenever somebody does like an edit on HelloFresh, I have to try the recipes because I'm just obsessed with HelloFresh, as you know. But this is the sample teriyaki chicken stir fry from the Stacey Solomon like curated recipes. And it was so good. It was a super quick recipe and it literally took us like 20 minutes to make. Me and my mum did it together, which was nice. But it was so good. If you don't know how HelloFresh works, you basically get your meals in like separated paper bags and they are numbered and it matches is the number of the top of the recipe card which is super handy it is literally cooking for dummies but you're getting so much goodness and there's no food waste and it's just handy if you've got a bit of a hectic lifestyle like me I can just pause and resume my hello fresh as and when I know I'm going to be away or be home and it's just really handy for keeping me on track despite being here there and everywhere my favourite thing about HelloFresh is how easy it is to find recipes. Like there is hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of recipes on the website, but it's so easy for me to find recipes that are suitable to me. Now I eat in the 650 calorie and under category generally, and I also eat in the protein rich category. And not only that, I only eat chicken when it comes to meat. So you would think for those three like filtered down things, the choices would be really restricted, but they're not, there's still so much for me to choose from. So even if you're like me and you have like quite a strict like thing that you stick to, or if you're like veggie, gluten-free, vegan, like there's so many choices for literally every kind of eater on HelloFresh. And discounted food is really just the best thing ever. Like as soon as I get my code, it goes in my family group chat and everybody uses it. It's so funny because when we were recording on Thursday's episode, which you will see in this vlog, we asked people on Instagram like what was the most inconvenient thing about adulthood that nobody warned you about. I swear to god about 70% of the responses to that sticker bar was deciding what to have for dinner every night and that is one of the main reasons why I love HelloFresh. I don't even have to think about it. I quickly pick my choices, it comes and then I've got my meal sorted for the week and it's just the best thing ever. The world's most convenient way to get all of your nutrients in. All of the details of the offer and a link and everything will be down below as well. If you didn't get time to screenshot my code or take a picture of the QR code, then you can go to the description box and everything will be in there. But anyway, I just wanted to quickly put my HelloFresh code in at the start of the vlog and now I'm gonna let you get into it for what has been just a bit of a random week, really. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I have just pulled up into the car park because I have got a hot pod this morning which I'm so excited about. It is so good to be back because I've had obviously three weeks of being here, there and everywhere and I'm so excited to have a good stretch this morning. I mean it's dynamic so it's definitely going to be a sweaty one but same same really excited to stretch my body because lord knows it needs it so I'm just turning that off because it's making a weird glare on the camp. My voice is slowly getting there. I lost my voice a bit when I got back from Rome. So I've got about 20 minutes before I need to be at Hot Pod. So I'm gonna go and grab a coffee. I'm just gonna go to Jaunty Goat up the road. One of my favorite coffee stops in Chester. They've actually got two. One's just up the road here and then one's a bit further down on um, Bridge Street. But the coffee is so nice. I'm gonna head there and go and get a little flat white. Chloe is not joining me this morning. I know we all know that Hot Pod is mine and Chloe's thing together, but she is so, rammed with she's doing like a uni course through her job and her dissertation is due in on the 15th and basically the next five days for her is like crunch time so i am a one man band today there's like a new-ish reformer place in chester that we both want to join as well because um we've never done reformer before so that'll be really good because we love hot pods so my plan will be 
hot pod once a week reformer once a week and then obviously just my weight training around those sessions they just go so like well hand in hand hot pod especially because um when you weight train you can have like a good stretch in the heat it's honestly so good for your body we have some really good news to start the week which i am buzzing about for the podcast i say whenever i say we it's me and megan that i'm talking about really not doing much today working out got some meetings tomorrow is obviously 30 thursday so off to london to record and we are recording our last episode of season two also i got my botox in yesterday so you can see like little though i'm actually not bruised at all sometimes i'm bruised around my eyes forehead never um but this tan line is literally haunting me to death from my snorkel mask but yeah, I got my Botox done yesterday. I didn't charge my camera, so it couldn't take you along with me, but you've all seen me get my Botox with Laura a million times before. I feel like it wore off a lot quicker this time because the UV, obviously, in the Maldives was so, so strong. I feel like it... Well, I didn't go for my top-up. The annoying thing with me is I'm, I'm rarely around for, like, your two-week top-up, which is why my actual appointments come around much sooner because, obviously, I don't have the top-up that you're supposed to have. So yeah i got it topped up essentially yesterday I only really just did a bit in my head and the sides of my eyes which is why it always wears off quicker because i'm a very expressive giggly person oh, just a quick outfit of the hot pod day i've got a cold button hoodie on and then i've just got this honor active set on i have only got a few more weeks left of driving this car oh, i'm literally so so buzzing nice and quiet in here this morning oh, oh there we go so focusing I've got an oat milk flat white by the way. You wondering? What a miserable day, guys. Look how bad it is. And this is where we do our hot pot. Honestly, the best thing ever. No, it's nice, isn't it? Not to have to rush off. Oh, that was spicy. Just like that, I am home, showered, sorted in my little workspace, ready to jump on a meeting with hopefully. Fingers crossed because it's the guy that we really want, our new producer for Talking 30, which will come into place before season three. We will record the last episode of season two tomorrow, which is nuts. The weeks are going so fast. Yeah, the weeks are going so, so quick and we really want this one guy to move into production for the pod because then Sophie, who you all know and love already, if you listen to the pod, who is basically our everything person, can actually move into her role of looking after our marketing, socials, all that kind of stuff. Why can't I find the meeting link? No one else is here yet. Hmm. Guess I'll just drink my cup of tea then. Hi. Hello. Can you hear me? No, I can't. Every fucking <laughs> time. Yay. Hey Ash, how are you doing? Hello, you okay? I'm really excited about what you guys have done so far. Um, I've been speaking to Sophie for a couple of months. That's a bunch because like, that's a lot of work goes into that every week. So that's what I was thinking. I think the way we've got the cameras right now for like the sake of reels works really well because like it's opposite one like each of us so if we had a third camera in the middle for like obviously youtube purposes yeah um, it is so annoying it does um, have its challenges but it definitely works content wise I mean, it's fine. I'm, I'm here for challenges so don't worry about that can you just all wave to can you just all wave to the vlog please <laughs> yeah that's what it does it just look like a dirty cream so we're designing our new studio for season three we've just appointed a new producer so it's all systems go guys this is really a job now hi Asha. It's hi. Okay. are you okay i'm fine how are you i'm good thank you amazing is this a good time if you come off your meeting um, i'm still on a meeting but it's fine she doesn't mind we'll see if we can get you in any sooner okay only the only reason why i ask is because i have with like work i have like a four week break from like we record a podcast so then we have a break from the podcast so then it, it i was just trying to tie it into fitting with that um because technically may the 9th which i know you mentioned was the first available date we're back to recording that's our first episode of recording so i mean i can always move it around if i have to because we could always record like the day before and do like a double episode and then hopefully by the third week of being in bed i might be okay to pop to london um yeah i think I, I, the, the third week i think it should be okay yeah and i'm hoping obviously like because i'm having an implant swap i'm hoping because obviously the breast pocket's already cut like that the recovery time won't be like won't yes. be as shocking I, I, 
I absolutely, I, I've, I've known um, when I've, when I call patients after they've had the surgery, most patients say, oh, I'm, I feel much better than I did the first time around. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it tends to be the case because it's not as severe. So if you're right, I'm off the call now. I'm off all, all of my calls. If you didn't gather from that, I am potentially going to be having surgery on the 9th of May. Having my implants swapped like for like pretty much, like CC wise, like everything wise. Um, it's just that they need changing now. So it shouldn't be a lot of downtime. However, our first episode of recording for season three was planned to be the 9th of May. And now that's the surgery date that they've offered me. This is pathetic. This is pathetic. And yes, the last time you saw me, I was sat in this position at about three, four, and five o'clock, and it's now twenty-one thirty-seven, <laughs> and I am um, still sat here, but I'm crying, <laughs> which is very random. I recently saw Sarah Ashcroft had uploaded a uh, a video about her breakup, and honestly, please go and watch it if you're somebody that's been broken up with, like at our age. I think she's the same age as me, like nearly thirty. And like being told that like you're not the person that someone wants to marry and like be with long term at this age and like when you've spent like a significant amount of time or been like significant milestones together, please go and watch that because she articulated that better than I ever could. Look at my patchy makeup. Anyway, I'm literally I've just uploaded my Rome vlog and where I ha obviously haven't been on YouTube for a few weeks and my insights like with my manager are like out of date. I was just on like certain videos, getting certain insights, and I came across an old vlog um, with me and my ex in it. And I was already halfway through it, like from obviously previously watching it or whatever, when I clicked on it, when I was trying to get the insights. And it just fucking hit me. And then I got a bit upset. I just literally sent Daniela. Daniela's one of my like closest friends, and she's got me through so much. I literally just sent her a picture of me like, you're overdue an ugly crying picture of me to have one and then I thought you know what when I saw that video that Sarah had put on and I like commend her for doing that because I really really closed myself off during like this breakup in comparison to my last one if you've been around that long and I just thought I wish I'd have been more honest because I feel like you guys probably think everything's been totally fine and it has and I am fine like I'm a year down the line pretty much um but sometimes you just see things that knock you for six picking the camera up when i'm crying i'm not one for doing that and i feel like sometimes i i get worried about putting myself in like a vulnerable situation like that but honestly like vlogs are meant for real life right and like not everything is unfortunately like a highlight reel um like it's literally nearly 10 p.m i haven't even packed for london tomorrow i don't know what i'm wearing to record which i've normally sorted by now i've been sat working all day and night since i got back from yoga and now i'm having a fucking breakdown <laughs> No, I'm actually fine. I am fine. It's just, you know, when you don't expect to see something. Okay, pretty much pat and then I can go to bed. So I've got my laptop, my Polaroid, because we take a Polaroid every week, as you know. Um, I know I've got some meeting and then in here I've got like my phone charger, some spare SD cards and just some like random technology bits just fits in that little pouch. And the only thing missing from this bit is once I've done my makeup in the morning, I'll just pack like a little, like what I call a freshen up bag. So it'll have like my lip liner, a powder, lipstick, deodorant and then some makeup wipes because I often just want to take my makeup off on the way home by the time I actually get on the train. Then I always pack tea bags, my individually wrapped Georgia tea, you'll know about these. The My Protein Crispy Wafer, these are unreal, I prefer the vanilla but they also do chocolate and this just kills my sweet craving after lunch and also has 15 grams of protein. This is the dog sofa and Flash literally uses the pillow like a human does. And then here's the other little monkey upstairs on his mummy's bed. A little recording outfit of the day. And I'm in a rush before I miss my train, so I'll catch up with you when I get to London. So my train was supposed to be straight through from home to London. Let's have to turn the crew. So now I've got like a half an hour away here. Which is fine, because I'm just finishing up our plan for the day. Which I'd normally do on the train anyway. Um, but hopefully it doesn't have a knock-on effect because I've got a meeting up here on the day. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh is a track here. It's a gimbal. So it tracks you like, oh no, it's not track, it's oh, yeah, a yeah, it's sick. Oh, I'm obsessed. Huh? Well, it takes a little while, doesn't so it? double click, and it'll centre. There you go. Isn't it cool? Right. I love it. So someone just spotted that I'm wearing on my stories, the Manier de Bois 
thing. So if you've watched the Rome vlog from last week, well, this week, Wednesday, this was actually part of a two-piece dress thing from when I had a van. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get loads of wear out of the bodysuit. And here I am today, wearing it. Can we have a little cheers to... What would you have it? A cheering to a good life. It's a successful life. It's mine. Happy life. And these cuts. It's giving me a song. Well, when we get the dishwasher, we can use the other ones again. Can I eat a little sneak? Fill me my bottle. Otherwise, it's just a I mean, this plant is a fake one from Ikea. Mm. Yeah, we've got to choose the one. Doris and this have a Marvin pull up white. You're going to have Doris, but. Doris is not. Look, look, she's not a star. I'll talk to my granny baked it. Who baked that? I made them. No. What? What made them? What's your business? Can I have one hand in chocolate, please? And she's like. She shouts at back and she's like, Gail, one <laughs> honey chocolate, please. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You ran over and just done. You are messy. <laughs> and he shouts at me fucking in the grunts. There's one kiwi and kiwi. I love like kiwi here as well. We love kiwi and co. They're gone. One, one, one honey chocolate. Well, I've got a little one of these in the past. I love it. It's very thick. Look. Chaos. Oh my Chaos Corner. My life is <laughs> oh, I felt that. You got that was like a vibe. That's it. Got a desk. <laughs> so we got a desk. That's the best thing. Catch me on the desk. Catch me on the desk. Right. Oh no. Do you want me to film it again? Season two done, baby. Producer Soph is no longer producer Soph. She's. Are we still calling producer Soph? I'm still producer Soph, but I'm not editing Soph. You're not editing Soph. <laughs> and I'm uh, also. Where? Uh, there. Yeah. What do you think? I know, I need a coffee though, so I don't look a bit awkward. Just gonna get some outfit content. And then I've got a meeting with um, the Little Fantastic Girls, although Ian's still in another meeting, so I just won't put him off and live down there. Um, so I'm gonna head there first, get a coffee. Yeah, shoot this outfit I know. and then head there and meet them. Look at Megan's back. She's such a colourful queen today. I'm a colourful girly. Colourful girly. Hi! Oh, I'm home. Oh, it's been a long day, but it's okay because I've got monkey cuddles. i got monkey cuddles. I can't even begin to explain the sheer state I've been in today. How's it been being around me on a hangover, man? That's all she's got to say. Last night went downhill very quickly. It's Sunday. What day is it? Saturday, by the way. I missed the day of the, oh, I didn't pick up the vlog yet, the, the camera, what, what am I holding? Yesterday, because I was just sat at home editing, but she did nothing all day. But last night was a surprise party for my uncle six year. And I've slowly come to realize, because I've had a lot of big birthdays in the family in the last six months, McDonald's first. Nice. Um, drive. Um, I've come to realise that we really have a family on both sides. We are not a family who knows when to call it a night. We there's just somebody is constantly buying around. Someone is constantly offering you a drink before your drink's even empty. Well, I've been sick. How sick was I this morning? I don't. I don't get sick on hangovers. I can drink wine and tequila, but to be fair, it wasn't my usual wine. It was a Pinot Blush. Might, might have been it. Tequila definitely, definitely that wasn't. wasn't it. The tequila that definitely wasn't, wasn't Casamigos. Was drank too much. Drank, but Josh says I didn't actually drink a lot. Well, you had too much tequila, so. I think he's lying. Anyway, so the surprise went well. It was actually a really fun night, wasn't it? So I was violently sick this morning at about seven ish, and then again when probably at about midday. Um, and I was supposed to be out at, at half two today. I had a reservation in Chester with a couple of my friends that I used to work with and I was literally like, girls, I can't. I'm really sorry to do this, but I can't. Um, but I genuinely think I've had like a bug or poison in. There's no way that was, I'm not sick on a hangover. That can't be, that can't be what's, what's happened. But anyway, I've been an absolute mess. It's 5 p.m. and I've only just managed to peel myself out of, well, I've gone from bed to the sofa and I just got this sudden urge to go and find the viral leopard print joggers that are in Matalan. So I've got a local Matalan which we're gonna go to. Probably won't find them because they're literally out of stock everywhere, but not without stopping at McDonald's. I've actually got HelloFresh to make for dinner tonight, but um, 
I need like a starter, just like a small bio chicken or something. And I think maybe two diet cokes. Are you gonna get anything then? She looked right at me and I was like, <laughs> couldn't look this. <laughs> it's what it is. I haven't seen him for years. I haven't seen him for years either. Didn't you know he's back living around here? Do you know what else I still haven't found in Matalan? Well, that I've been actively looking. That Stanley Duke cup. So I wonder if they'll have that now. I think it's £11. I've got an Have they? It was like one day that goes down in history in our family. Talk very drunk at a house party once. When I was, was I like 16, 15? Really young. I was 15. And that next day, I honestly can't even explain. My stepdad at the time like recorded me because of how much of a mess I was. I'll never forget You that. see my stepdad at the time like you've had notes. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a dad and a stepdad. You know what I mean? He's no longer, he's no longer around. Um, I don't know now. I'm thinking of which. Obviously, Dad and Sarah have been together for like what now? 20, 20 odd years? Oh, it looks lush. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's happened quick. I didn't know the windows were getting done so soon. So, Dad and Sarah have been together for like ages. So, obviously, I call them my stepmom. They're married and they, or well, she came into my life at a time where you would refer to a parent as a stepmom. Yeah. I would never now be able to say, oh, that's my stepdad. For you, because I just wouldn't say that. Today has been that day. Look at that bomber jacket, it's got like a, it's not like a tight end, it's like an open end. Oh, really nice. Very nice. Crop, not on me. <laughs> My mum says it says crop, and she went, mm, not on me. No, they'd be full length on you. Let's sleep on Matalan, guys. That could be bizarre, that. That's nice, isn't it? I'm actually gonna get some new pajamas whilst here. So then I've lost the top to the ones that I really like. Yeah, that is nice. But it's very similar to, um, my friend Dion wore something from New Look recently. It's like a two-piece. Same fabric. Yeah. Similar fabric. Oh, yeah. These are nice, look. Oh, I love those. Do they have me seats? They're giving Napco with the fabric, to be fair. <gasps> you found them? Oh, you're shaking. They got your size? Yeah. Well, you're going to have to get them, sorry. <gasps> Fuming. I've just, I just tried debating sizes on this. Hang on, we'll come back to that. Well, we found them. But they don't have my size. Aren't they lovely? Small is the smallest they go. You're gonna have to get them, Mum. You can't leave them there. She love those. Yeah, nice. How nice are they? How nice are those? I know, but the black has got contrast stitching. I really like those. Might have to get those. Do they not go in? Not steaming up. Uh, not going like um, rusty. Oh, not, right. you know, not, not, not the glass goes rusty. It gets marked. Yeah. Like oh, look at those bowls. That's so nice. Do not need any house stuff. Have a storage unit full of it. <sighs> That's unreal. Look what mum found. Oh shit, I'm not flying. I think I'm gonna get it. Do I get green? I'm gonna get the creamy colour. Oh, they've got white. I can't have one that everyone's touched though. Because you know how long I hate about Jeremy's. Well. We did secure the goods, but just not in my size. That should look so nice with a white t-shirt tucked in. And like your whites are a trainers. Yeah? Okay. Still got those. What does my skin need this evening? I'm gonna use these. Vino Oat and Kills Creamy Eye Treatment and the Nukes. 
Like, oh, the lineup of the evening, gorgeous people. We just watched, got home, I've had an everything shower. Oh, but my new pajamas on. They're so cute. Glad I got the size small because they're actually quite a tight fit. We decided to watch a horror film. So my sister-in-law's gone on a night shift tonight and Josh's like, oh, let's watch a horror. So me and mum were like, okay. So we watched Smile. And I've never watched it before. We were deciding between Split and, Sp Split and Smile. I've seen Split a million times before, but I've never seen Smile. So we watched that. Josh has seen it before. And honestly, it's actually freaked me out, even though it's a very unrealistic storyline. Anyway, I'm using the Elemis, I was going to say Pro Collagen cleansing pads, and I'm <laughs> mixing the cleanser. Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. These are insane. It's like my second tub of these now. And I'm pretty much halfway down, probably more. Um, I took these to Rome and I got the girls to try them when we were there because I'm obsessed with them. I don't really get spots, um, but I get um, skin texture. They're so good for skin texture. And also, I know my tan line from my snorkel mask is still really, really bad, but it's improved. And I think it's because of these, a mix of these and obviously my Dermatica stuff as well. Okay, then using the Aveeno Oat Gel Moisturiser from their Calm and Restore range. This is so cheap from moisturiser and the texture I wouldn't say the product exactly is a dupe but the texture of it it's like a gel texture it's a dupe of Tatcha dewy skin cream just before that completely dries down I'm gonna add in some of the drunk elephant retinol oil so you can like add this into your moisturiser like in your hands but I just kind of put my moisturiser on and then before it completely dries down that's when I'll go in with a bit of this oil see guys retinol change my skin there's so many that I've tried and tested. I love the Kiehl's one. Then I'm going to use the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. This is one of the best eye creams ever. It's like a nice yellowy colour. So it's really good for like brightening the under eye as well. But I actually suffer with like a bit of scaliness in my skin, in my under eyes. And because this is like a creamy treatment, like it's made for like deep penetration of like moisture. It really, really helps. This is the Nukes Honey Lip Balm. It is insane. I'm obsessed with it. I've used this like forever. I'm just going to read a few pages of a book, try and unwind a little bit, and then make a to-do list of things that I need to do tomorrow. I need to package up those returns. They're like pre-roam things that I bought and then didn't end up taking. Um, and then I've just got some like random loose ends. I've got like a life admin day tomorrow. I thought I'd actually have bruises from my Botox, but I've not bruised at all this time. Um, speaking of pains though, my shoulders from, I forgot to mention this, from hot yoga on Wednesday, because obviously I've not been in a good few weeks. My shoulders have been absolutely killing the last couple of days. So that is what you get for being out of routine, Ash and Mary Lou. Look, he's cuddled into Ducky. I could not. It's the cutest thing ever. He's obsessed with that duck. It is 9am. And I'm ready to go. Going to bed with my hair wet last night was a mistake, as we all knew it would be, because my hair is so frizzy. But I've just sprayed a load of um, Colour Wild Dream Coat in it, and then just smoothed it with the hairdryer before curling it, and I think I've managed to save it a little bit. Um, I just have to tell you this real quick, because we've been having a massive sort out of, basically in the loft here, is stuff that when, oh, I mean, it's so long ago now, but when my nan and bumper both passed away because I'd lost them both within like an 18 month period, it was just stuff on their house that like we genuinely just couldn't face at the time. And it just went into foxes and then obviously ended up in the loft here over time. We were like, we need to sort through photos. We have so many photos and they were all just scattered. So we were like, we're gonna sort them into piles. So while my mum's been here, we've been like gradually doing that. The loft here is like all boarded out and stuff and it's got like stairs. So it's been like really easy to sort but there has been so much to do we have found some hilarious things like even christmas tree decorations from their house that literally took me right back i was like oh my god so i just like kept one of each ball wall and just put them in a little bag amongst like my christmas stuff just so i got them just for the future if we ever go back to red green and gold on christmas then i can whack them out it's so funny mum just said one thing about you asha you've always taken photos of everything like that isn't a new thing like i'm always now I've got a camera in my hand that was always me as a kid as well i took photos i can't even explain of literally everything and I sent my best friend Beth yesterday when we were got to like a pile of ones that I'd taken I'm presuming it was maybe like our last week or last day of primary school and I sent them to her and she was like Asha only you would take a disposable camera into school and like it be okay like 
I don't even know how I managed to get it in, but the pictures are hilarious. And honestly, I really did take photos of everything. Like I've lined my teddies up and taken like 6 million photos of them. Like mum just said, you've just always wanted to capture everything. And that has not changed clearly. I don't know how I didn't end up with a photographer, but I still now take photos of everything. So my nan and bumper, bumper was my granddad before he was my dog, if anybody doesn't know that here. And they traveled so much. They loved experiencing like different cultures and I obviously get that from them because we found all of their travel photos which has just been so special like China the pictures of them on the Great Wall of China pictures of them in Egypt like oh my nan she was such a babe look and they just absolutely loved to take in other cultures like it's what they did they absolutely loved it and I must get that from them because you guys know like traveling around and just being in the moment and experiencing other people's lives and cultures and their way of life is honestly one of like the most fulfilling things to me in my life and it just goes to show where I get it from but I'm so glad that we decided to sort through it whilst my mum was here because one I wouldn't have been able to do it alone too much and two we literally had to talk a right trip down memory lane over the last few days. No, look at this, I can't. One thing about Bumper, he was always taking photos of my nan. And look at this. Sorry, she is an icon. Before I go and get dressed, listen to the story. So we were talking yesterday because Bumper got Alzheimer's, my granddad, towards like the end of his life. And my nan died 18 months before him. And it started to get quite bad just before she passed and then as soon as she passed it like triggered it to go like completely spiral downhill and on the day of my nan's funeral my obviously naturally you repeat yourself a lot with alzheimer's very forgetful and also you say things that you've just said literally two seconds ago and telling bumper that my nan had died was such a weird experience because we didn't know how he was going to take it but thankfully in a weird way he um thought it was ages ago so even though we just told him and it had literally happened like a couple of days prior she was in hospital at the time um he thought it was a long time ago like one day I lived with them at the time and one day we were sat in like the armchairs that we used to sit in together having a cup of tea and reading the morning newspaper and he looked at me and I could feel him looking at me and I was like you're right bumps and he was like ash and I was like yeah because no one calls me asher in my family everyone just calls me ash I was like yeah and he was like do you remember your nan that's what he said to me obviously at the time I was like grieving heavily and it literally was like I can't even explain it like a horrible feeling in my chest and I was like yeah bumps and he's like oh you were only a baby when she died and it was literally like three weeks before and I was like oh my god you know you're just like stopping yourself from like welling up but in a weird way it was a blessing in disguise because he had to get over it because his mind was telling him it was a long time ago and not only that he would say to my mum like how long has it been now since your nan died and she'd be like oh it's been a month and he'd go oh I loved her oh I loved her and he used to just repeat that over and over he'd be like he'd ask again how long it's been and he'd go oh I loved her and he did he absolutely adored that woman at my nan's funeral I actually read out a poem Bumper had written my granddad had written to my nan god when they were really really young and obviously at the time like racism was I mean it's still around now obviously but at the time him as a white man like wanting to marry like a black African woman it was just crazy and like the poem I don't know where that is I feel like it might be in my storage unit but the poem is like about that pretty much and like how in love with her he was and how she was just like the most beautiful thing he's ever seen and he genuinely adored that woman until like the very end like they were so in love and like our whole family was built on love it was so so nice a really funny moment though because of his alzheimer's which we all always talk about and never forget is the day of my nan's funeral obviously funeral cars are like three rows like the driver and then you get two more rows and me and bumper got in the back and then my mum and josh got in the row in front of us right so my mum and josh get in and bumper goes oh are you driving are you chase because obviously they're all very south Walian. <laughs> And we were literally in stitches because he was like obviously had like a mental block he completely forgot but there was like another row and from here to like the crematorium which is like a couple of towns away he literally must have said oh are you driving are you trace about 40 times because he'd just forgotten that he just said it and we were literally in stitches but what a way because we were on the way to my nan's funeral and we were all laughing so that's that but yeah it took a right trip down memory lane anyway i'm gonna stop babbling and um 
I need to go and get dressed and put some beach attire on. How warm is it? I mean, it's like a literal explosion in here right now, but we've decided we're gonna go and grab brunch first. We're like, should we make some breakfast when we get back? And I was like, why don't we go out for brunch? Well, I've just shoved on this Gymshark two piece. It's a crop top though, so I've had to put a jacket on. Um, and then like the matching yoga pants, which is so nice. And then this jacket is actually a tracksuit, part of a tracksuit from Glamify. <laughs> So I'm going to have, there's a lot of choice, tea, tea, why does it always take so long for them to brew in here because I had to like, at home. I remember where were we when, um, in Sorrento in the Capo de Monte Hotel yeah. and he'd made me a really weak cup of tea so I asked him to have a cup of tea and he, put, and he charged me, remember? Look at that for a Sunday morning brekkie. Thank you so much. The original hot pot that I was going to pass it that's all they've got, so we'll give it a whirl. Where is she? Where is she? There she is. One fifty for an hour. One pounds fifty for an hour. One pounds fifty for an hour. That woman's just saying she's never seen, never had to pay to park here before. No, it must be new. It must be new, boyos. That's it. We've got to stop coming. We're not coming again. We're not coming again. Flash, he's about to take Bumper out with his arse. Oh my god, he's circulating. Oh, Bumper's gonna get knocked out. This is where every dog wheezes, obviously. I know, you smell the dog oh, wheeze. you can, you can actually smell it. Come on, you rascals. <laughs> Tangled, <laughs> untangled. Right, go on the Bumper right, sand. Go for it. He's gonna knock oh, no. Bumper out with his tail. It's quite, um, Flash, don't go in the water, doll. It's water. It's water. I know. Water's going in Labrador. It's like telling the bloody <laughs> monkey not to swing in a tree. Flash, get the ball! <laughs> Bumper's literally avoiding it. Ready, steady. Come on, this way. Oh, off he goes. Off he goes. On a mad one. bloody dogs together a chaos because Flash is treating the puddles like a fucking hot tub like he's on a lad's holiday and won't come out of the water and then you've got Bumper trying to fetch Flash's ball for some reason he's decided he wants to start doing that and all these winkles I know weird isn't it they look like blueberries you can't cook and pick winkles that's what we used to do with kids we need gluten free flatbreads Okay, Josh. Well, guys, now that that chaotic hour is over, I actually need to end the vlog here because I need to add these last clips in before I finish editing it. The monkeys are in the back. My mum's just popped into Morrison's. I am just sat here with these two whilst they people watch, and then we're going to go home. I'm going to get cosy for the rest of the day, probably pop and see my grandparents, and then get this vlog edited. But it's been a bit of a random chaotic week, but I hope you've enjoyed it regardless. And I will see you all in next week's vlog. Bye!